guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we have yet another Ray Dunn haul. I haven't filmed in a week, which doesn't seem like a long amount of time, but I am finally filming the stuff that I've picked up within the last week or week and a half. I am going to go to a few stores tomorrow, so I'm going to try to film a hunt with me if things go smoothly. So we shall see. If you end up seeing it, then that means that I went smoothly. But I did get a lot of exciting things in this haul. I am going to show you guys the most exciting things first, even though I feel like there's a lot of things that are equally as exciting. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up from Ray Dunn in the past week, just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so getting this video started, the first thing is that I got, I got in trades. So the first one is this beautiful mama. It is the home birdhouse. I absolutely love this thing so, so much. I got this in an out-of-state trade, like I said. So I traded my red ho-ho-ho canister for this baby, which I'm so happy I did. I feel like I'm starting to get to the point where I need to stop hoarding some of my stuff if I don't love it and get something that I love more. So I'm very happy with this trade. And the girl who I traded with was the sweetest girl ever. And she is just absolutely over the moon obsessed with her red canister. This next item that I got I also traded today with one of the girls that's local to me. I traded my coal canister and one of my Easter egg plates. So this is the second birdhouse that I got. It is the rest teardrop shaped birdhouse with the little feather on the back. I absolutely love this so much. I'm actually DIYing the Hobby Lobby one in my garage right now. I'm so happy to finally have this one. And these were both $19.99, if you guys didn't know the retail on the birdhouses. The next thing that I got is from another out-of-state trade. I'm trying to remember what I traded. I traded my cocoa canister from Marshalls. I was not in love with the thing. It was just, I don't know, it just sat on my little shelf over there, and I wasn't in love with it. It held like three Keurig cups, and I was just over it. So I traded it for this beautiful mama, it is the Flourish vase, and this retails for $16.99. It has so many beautiful dimples all over it. I just love this bad boy so, so much. So again, another great trade. I have been really lucky with all the trades that I've done. I've had really good luck, and I feel like I'm just really lucky from the things that I've gotten from trades. The next few things that I'm going to show you are from a purge that one of the girls did local to me. So, the first thing that I got is, are you guys ready? Da, 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 da. <laughs> the Black Trick or Treat Planters. I am so stoked, you guys, like beyond stoked. I believe these retail for $19.99, but I could be wrong. My spoon, fork, and knife retails for uh, $19.99, and I believe like the planters do too, so I think that's what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. The only thing left I need for Halloween is a canister, and we all know that's gonna be kind of crazy when it comes Halloween time. Speaking of Halloween, I also traded another one of my black, like, Happy Halloween double-sided mug for the Sabuki mug. This completes my collection of the black mugs. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the white Halloween mugs. I like the black ones more. The next thing that I got was also from a purge as well, and you guys, <laughs> I'm so excited about this bad boy. The hot cocoa pot that has the snowman on it. I absolutely love this bad boy. It is giant in person. Like literally look at that compared to my head. It's huge. And then the back it says, let it snow. I just love this thing so much. I got it in a big lot of stuff. So I got like six other items that I'm not a huge fan of, but I bought everything just so I could get that. 
It also came with two of these mugs as well. So I was very happy that two mugs were included for the winter time. So, so stoked, can't wait for winter again. No, I'm just kidding. I can wait until Christmas, but I'm just excited to put it out. I also got this hot mess mug from the same purge. And this is just totally my life, y'all. I am a hot mess all the time. So, decided to pick this bad boy up. I did also get two of the dog and like cat mugs. So the first one is this stay positive mug. And one of the girls that is local to me, I actually went to high school with her. I don't know if she watches my YouTube videos, but if you are, thank you so much. I appreciate it. She messaged me and asked me if I wanted this and I did. I'm trying to collect all of them. I'm going to get my fur mama mug tomorrow. Hopefully I'm meeting up with one of the girls up north. So very happy to have this one. And then I did also get the don't stress me out, which this one is going to be one of my favorites because I just love how they put the me out at the end. I think it's very cute and it's definitely very true saying, don't stress me out. <laughs> I did get two more mugs. The next one I got is this hot chick mug with pink inside. So I think I'm gonna sell my white hot chick mug. My Ray Dunn buddy got this for me and she actually lucked out when she went to our local Marshalls where we never find anything. So she picked this one up for me. She also got one as well. And I just love the pink inside. Pink is like one of my favorite colors. If you can't tell by my sweater that I'm wearing. The last mug that I got is this out of office mug. I love the lettering on this mug. It is so big and giant and amazing. I don't know why I wanted this, but I thought it was cute. I don't necessarily work in an office, but I still think it's cute when I'm not at work. So I decided to pick that bad boy up. I did also get the lemonade melamine pitcher. I do have the lemonade melamine cups, but my cousin found them in Arizona. So she will be shipping them to me in like the next week or so. This retails for $12.99. The next thing that I got is the Sweet Tea Melamine Cups. These retail for $16.99. And I did get two sets of these. Me and one of my done buddies actually split the set. So she kept two and I kept two. And then I'm going to be trading this one, which I already have a trade for it. I'm gonna go meet up with her in just a little bit actually. So I decided to get a second set because I knew people would want them. And the very last thing that I got, my sweet done friend got this for me as well. This is $9.99 and it is another one of these signs. It just says home is where mom is. And this is such a true statement. I kind of went back and forth on if this should like go in my mom's house or if it should go in my house. And I feel like it can go either way. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you think it should go in my house or her house. I don't know. I'm gonna probably keep it in my house just because I really like it. But I don't know, maybe if all of you guys say I should give it to her, I'll just let her have it for her house. So that is it for this week's Ray Dunn haul. I feel like it was a smaller haul, but it was seriously one of my favorites. Like I said, I still like cannot believe that these bad boys are in my possession. Like, y'all, this is crazy. I can't believe that I got them both in trades. Pretty crazy to me, but I'm so happy and so thankful. I could totally be happy with just these two birdhouses from this season, because realistically, I'm not gonna say that like I try to hunt and go to openings because I really don't go that often. So I can't really say anything about that, but I will definitely keep an eye out. And my cousin in Arizona, is always looking out for me, which I appreciate so, so much. Also, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's just Molly Nicole XO. I know a lot of you guys have been following me over there and I appreciate it so much. And thank you guys for all the support here on my channel as well. I do wanna also make my Ray Dunn collection video, which I've decided I think I wanna do in like separate episodes or videos because I have so much of it that it would probably be like a 45 minute video if I did like a whole dedicated video to it. So I think I'm gonna split it up between like canisters and mugs and maybe like holiday. 
I don't know, you guys will have to let me know what your opinion on that is in the comments down below because I definitely want to film that for you guys soon. So that's going to be it. I'm going to stop rambling before I ramble for another 500 minutes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, stay marvelous. Mm -hmm.